and stuff, and uh, she's trying to get ready for class. But here's the thing, all right? Olivia, as soon as she gets all of her books ready and she closes her locker, two really annoying middle school boys are running through the hallway, and they bump into Olivia, and her papers go flying everywhere. And instead of stopping and saying, hey, uh, sorry about that, let me pick you up, they just look back and they say, watch out. <laughs> or they say, hey, sorry. And then they just keep running. And so now all your stuff is everywhere. You're looking like a bum. You're mad at your best friend. And you're going to be late to your teacher's class. Who are you mad at? Those two annoying middle school boys, OK? So that's not one, but that's two, OK? So I need you to hold these grudges, all right? Keep holding these grudges right here. You got that? Don't let them drop, all right? Cool, cool. All right, and so Olivia is in class. She looks like a bum. She she is uh, smelling kind of some kind of way. You know, she's having a rough morning. Her best friend kind of stabbed her in the back. You know, her papers went everywhere. She was late to class. She gets to class and she's sitting there, and all of a sudden she gets a text message from one of her friends. Now, Olivia, let's pretend that you've been in a relationship for a solid year with a guy named Brad, right? Olivia's been Brad. Brad, right? Yeah, like Brad. And so, uh, Olivia, when she's in class, she gets a text. And it's from her friend, and it is confirmation that Brad has just cheated on Olivia, right? That is rough, right? Who are you mad at right now, Olivia? Brad. You're mad at Brad. Are you only mad at Brad? Because guess who you cheated with? Rachel. Oh my God! Oh no! So now you're really mad at Rachel, okay? And so I want you to hold that, right? Now look, Olivia, man, this is a tough time for Olivia. She's having a rough day. She just found out her boyfriend cheated on her. She's not in the mood to be in math class. But lo and behold, her wonderful teacher comes up, snatches her phone out of her hand, and says, I'll be taking that, throws it in her top drawer and says, you can get this phone back when, you know, your parents come at the end of the day to get it, okay? Now, are you happy with your teacher right now? No. no. What are you feeling? You're feeling kind of mad, right? And so you're going to hold that grudge against who? Teacher, right? And so Olivia, just hold that grudge. Right? <laughs> Olivia, hold on to those. Don't drop them, right? And so Olivia, Olivia, man, she's having a rough day. And as soon as she gets home, as soon as Olivia gets home, you know who is there at the front door, beats her home from the bus, waiting to tell on Olivia. It's her little brother. And he said, hey, mom, guess what? Her, her phone guy take it away, and the teacher is going to make you come to the school and meet with her in order for you to get it back and blah, blah, blah. Are you mad right now, Olivia? Who are you upset with? Your annoying little brother, right? And so, Olivia, I want you to hold this one. Can you hold that one? All right, look, we could go, we could go on and on and on. I mean, stuff like this happens. People wrong us all the time, right? And here's the thing. I want you to understand this. God commands us that we should forgive because we've been forgiven. But I'm, I'm going to give you a piece of advice. If you hold on to grudges, you can't do anything else. Literally, Olivia, if you tried to do anything right now with holding those grudges, it would be impossible. You can't. Your arms are tired. You can't eat. You can't sleep. You can't do anything. Oh. Olivia, hold on. No. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. Everybody, give Olivia a round of applause. Here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing. Look, I am not, I am not saying that when people wrong you that it doesn't hurt. I know, man, some of that stuff that Olivia went through, it was, it was silly. Like her mom didn't wake her up. That's your fault. Get your own alarm clock. But some of that stuff is serious. Man, if you've ever been cheated on, you totally understand how bad that hurts. And so I'm not saying that you need to do what Olivia just did and just let them all go. Some of us like to hold on to grudges. I mean, it's painful to get rid of them. But what I'm challenging you to do tonight is to simply take one of those grudges. Just take one of them and give them back. Let them go. Give them to God and, and forgive that person. And then maybe the next day, you can take another grudge and intentionally try to forgive. And maybe that grudge takes a long time to get rid of. Maybe after a week, you can give up one more grudge. Because we can't be like Olivia. We can't just drop them all. We need, it takes time, it takes, it takes patience and, and being intentional to forgive people. But we don't want to be like Bob in the parable. We don't want to be forgiven of all of this stuff, but not be able to forgive one person of one little thing. 
And so tonight, as we close, I'm going to close us in prayer. And I don't know what forgiveness looks like for you. I don't know if it's you calling someone or texting someone or maybe just talking to God about someone. Like, hey, God, I've been harboring this hatred in my heart towards this person. Maybe you need to have a conversation with one of the staff here. I mean, we're all here. We volunteer to be here. We love you guys. We want to talk to you guys. I don't know what it looks like for you to 